this video I'm going to go over how to calculate permutations. We have two different types of permutations, one with replacement and one without replacement. The one with replacement, the formula is n to the k, and the one without replacement is n factorial over n minus k factorial. Before we get into the examples, if you find these helpful, please like and subscribe. The first example we're going to do is with replacement order matters using the set a, b, c, d, and e. Now if I wanted to choose any two of them, it would be 5 because we have 5 of them to the 2, because we're choosing 2, which would equal 25 permutations. What would that look like visually? Say I'm choosing from a bucket, I choose A, I look at A, I notate A, and then I put A back, and then I choose again, and I can still get A. The permutations possible are like, I come up with AA, or I come up with AB, or I come up with BA. The other important thing to notice is that order matters here. So AB and BA are two different permutations. So this is how it looks like when you choose three, you know, five to the third, and then five to the fourth. The second one is without replacement, but order still matters. We're going to be using this equation, so let's get into it. Uh, so choosing two, so simply from a calculation standpoint, we're choosing from 5 and then 5 minus 2 because we have a total of 5 minus how many we're choosing, which equals 5 factorial over 3 factorial, which this is what the factorial yields, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1, and then you cross out 3, 2, 1 on top and bottom and you're left with 5 times 4, which gives you 20 permutations. Now, what does that mean in terms of understanding? So when you're looking at the first two, you're choosing two. So say in the first one, I choose B. So I had five options. Now I have four options. And now I can, for my second option, choose A, C, D, and E. For simplicity, it may be better to understand that you're simply subtracting one from the next multiplication. So it's five times four for two, five times four times three for three, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 for 4. Usually permutations is taught with combinations, and the main thing to understand between the two is that order matters for permutations, and they're typically easier to compute. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. I'll be doing a combinations one soon. Thank you for watching, and stay nerdy, my friends.